Hey Scotty, welcome to the Sunshine Islands. I originally just want to go on vacation, but the damn PLA decided to attack and ruin my fucking holiday. Of course, in this game. That's why I'm sending you out there, soldier. Yes, you. So gear up, get ready for deployment. And let's go get into the APC and help our Marines on the ground land, so that we can finally send that damn PLA back. Get in the top of soldier and help the team to rescue the radio. I'm impressed you have made it on the ground alive, Squaddy. Watch out, they are popping out of the nowhere like the little cone. Defend the radio for as long as you can. Goddamn, Squaddy, that didn't work out so well, but never mind. Treat yourself to a beach walk and take care of yourself. They are pretty heavy here. Well, since you are already here in the midst of combat, can't you quickly resupply our fob, Charlie Peter? These guys are blasting our way like there's no tomorrow, Squaddy. Oh, and to keep you from getting bored, you need to build an assault bridge onto the shit island. Ah, oh, God, Charlie, the guys have to get access somehow. Looks like we have sent the pilot back home for now. Well, the second wave will be surely come, but in the meantime, we can explore the local table grounds. Follow me, Squaddy. Yeah, it seems a bit modest, but hey, different countries, different cultures, I guess, right? Anyway, now it's the time to talk more about the key objective, soldier. What you see here is Object Charlie, aka the goddamn fucking island. Hard to hold and even harder to capture, but crucial for providing our forces with the superior firepower and for building ground to air missiles and artillery later on. This small fishing village with port also known as Object Beta Beta is crucial for the Marine Corps. From here we can secure the supply lines. Due to varying terrain heights, buildings and vegetation, the object is both defensible when reinforced properly and vulnerable to sneak attacks from the sides on directly front assault with APCs. So be vigilant, soldier. A good offensive is only possible with a strong defense. And keep in mind, use the terrain always to your advantage. Those small islands surrounding the objectives are perfect for establishing positions, placing backup radios and serving as ideal spots for both offense and defense. You can use them to ambush the enemy, hide your vehicles and maintain a strategic advantage in the battle. <coughs> Come on, just inform me that I should prepare you to hold Objective Charlie Alpha, Squaddy. So pay attention, Objective Charlie Alpha is coal power plant that can supply the entire island with electricity. Unfortunately, it has already been hit by a naval missile, but it's still most likely functional and crucial for us. Always keep in mind that the enemy will likely try to infiltrate the buildings from the sides first to minimize the exposure in open areas. Hey newbie, if you place your hub inside the middle of the power plant, never forget that the enemy can easily infiltrate the lower level through a coastal landing and deactivate your hub with just two men. First floor to take effective countermeasures and then proceed to the roof where you can set up static defenses to prevent the enemy from even getting onto the premises. Around the object, there are plenty of useful positions you can utilize for tactical positioning, both offensive and defensive. Always remember, Squaddy, who makes the most out of everything and make it to their advantage usually comes out as the winner and goes home alive. In this game, of course. Never forget, Squaddy, we are not here to having fun, but to wreck a whole lot of stuff. For instance, land with the logic boat behind the ship frag, place your radio there and set up the app on land to establish a strong offensive or defensive position. By the way, this is objective Charlie Charlie, a village split by a camel. Just think about it, Squaddy. What happens if the enemy holds one side and your team the other side? And no one thinks to flank from the sides. Then the newbies will be running over the open bridges, or even worse, through the water channels. <laughs> uh, sorry, newbie. Didn't mean to make fun of the newcomers. I'm here to provide support and guidance. So let us focus on the mission. The coastal objectives. 
can be well fortified to create both offensive and defensive positions. You can deploy mortars and other assets for offensive and set up heavy machine guns positions and fortification for defense, support your team at the front line to make the life easier for the squaddies on the front and send your enemies a never ending wave of motion blur. Oh, it's best to hide your TOW position. Look how I do it. I place a TOW on high ground in the shadows with a few of our objective, so I can support my team every time. For your information, Squaddy, it looks like the new map offers various gameplay experience depending on the version. Version 3, for example, appears to focus on intense close quarter combats, while the other three versions provide opportunities for long distance firefights. It's crucial to adapt your tactics to make the most out of the map layout and objectives. Hey, Squaddies, thanks for turning in. I hope you were entertained and able to learn something. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. This is Piranha, over and out.